Kicking up your grilling game with sangria beef kebabs. Now these five ingredient kebabs are very versatile. You don't have to just use beef. You can use chicken or you can use pork. It's gonna be just as delicious. I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, so let's get this party started. So we're gonna start out and we're gonna put some salt and pepper on this stuff here. And right here what I have is I have two pounds of petite tender shoulder. You use any kind of meat you probably would like, like a porterhouse, a ribeye, or a filet or something like that. Um, I also have here, I have one red onion. It's a fairly large one. So we're just going to go over with some salt. We're going to season liberally. Alright, we're going on with some pepper here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, toss in our... Now you can see the bag. Just throw in our meat. Throw in our onions. Alright, now we're going to go in with two cups of our sangria mix. Now I'm going to show you what this bottle looks like. It's just a store-bought sangria. I'll show you what it looks like right now. You see that? It's just store-bought sangria. You could probably use homemade too, although I wouldn't waste my homemade on this. Alright, so we're going to take this in and we're going to seal it up. All right, let's seal this stuff up. Now I'm using the uh, VacMaster VP210. I love this thing. I keep saying I'm gonna do a review on it and I do plan on doing a review on it. But you could use a Ziploc bag, guys, if you don't have a vac chamber. If you're not lucky enough to have a vac chamber. The good thing about these is it, it's got liquid and trying to do this with a regular vacuum sealer is not, is, is not easy. Matter unless you have a special attachment to one of those. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this on. All right, there we go. You see, we got a great seal on it, so that's going to make it for a nice marinade. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stick this in our fridge, and we're going to see you in about three hours. If you wanted to marinate this overnight, it would be even better. All right, guys, so it hasn't been three hours, I'm just saying. I mean, the weather has turned crazy here. We ended up waiting uh, to the next day, 20, so it's been 20, a little less than 24 hours. All right, so we got our fire over there going on the Kudu Grill. We did a, if you notice up there in that silver little spot there, we've done some other things up there, some onions and uh, mushrooms. Alright, but that's not what we're focusing on. We're focus, focusing on this awesome stuff here. So I'm just going to use this bowl and I'm going to dump out our marinated meat and onions there. Looks cooked, don't it? Alright, so we're going on with our meat here. and onions i don't know if these onions i'm glad we cooked some extra onions because these onions aren't they're like to nothing so we're just gonna have to go with nothing but meat i guess wow that's surprising there i didn't think these onions would like i guess that tenderized it or something huh i cut them big yeah, all right. Well, you live and you learn. Yeah, they're just coming to nothing. Look at this. When I try to put them on the skewer, they just tender. All right, well, this is going to be a meat skewer. Well, look, we might have got one onion on there. Look at that. That is like a carnivore's dream right there. I bet you, uh, what is that chick's name? Sarah's vegan kitchen. She's probably not going to be into this. She skewer. would not be into this at all. All right, there's all of our meat, guys. Oh nope, one more. Look at that's weighing my skewer down. <laughs> all right, let's put this bad boy up on the kudu grill there, so this grilling wouldn't be complete without wafting the froth off this resin right here 
uh, Sal over at the Root Boy Cooks will know exactly what I'm talking about, and so will Lassa. I'll leave links below to those guys, but uh, cheers to you, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and cut in a couple. I'm gonna just choose this one. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Very tender. Hold on. A very slight sweetness on the outside of it. I'm digging it. So. It's probably the best kebab I've ever eaten, it, except for the lamb kebabs that we did. The lamb kebabs, to me, had a lot more flavor. Not that these aren't good, but lamb is a little bit more, you know, in your face. So, sangria, beef kebabs, do it.